One of the most difficult authors to film is H.P. Lovecraft, and very, very few films have been made of his stories that really manage to capture the unfilmable. In fact, Lovecraft has been called the unfilmable author. Stuart Gordon was able to do so when he made Reanimator, because Reanimator, of course, is quite a straightforward narrative, and in its literary incarnation, it is actually more like a fragment. Not nearly so fragmentary, though, as From Beyond, which is literally a few pages long and is a single concept story. He has actually taken this concept and tried to turn it into a new and different way of apprehending perception. So, in a way, the film itself is only a concept film. What happens in it is a little camp and a little over the top, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter because what we're really getting in this is how to perceive differently. And this begins with monsters and with the notion that there are fractal and different various elemental uh, dimensions. And then it transforms into how we actually perceive desire, perceive ourselves, perceive others, so that we become the monsters, not via what we are in terms of the spectacle of horror, but in terms of the way that we see. Do you feel it, Crawford? <laughs> In From Beyond, every character experiences their own new sensorium of multidimensionality in how they perceive. For example, Barbara Crampton's character has a sexual awakening and becomes this sadomasochistic, phantasmatic figure. We also get the professor who absolutely represents what I think is one of the most beautiful icons of Lovecraftian horror, which is the tentacle-faced wonder that we receive. most powerful being in the universe. When Crawford Tillinghast finally opens himself up to the world of intradimensionality, one of the most amazing transformations that we see in body horror occurs. He creates his own new overdeveloped organ for sensory perception, his pineal gland. If we really love horror film and we really want to see horror film in a way that's not cliche and not naff, what we are really being taught to do as spectators is watch differently and learn to experience the affects of sensoria from horror in a different way, not in a directive way, not in a rational way or a logical way. And this is exactly what happens to Crawford Tillinghast. Through the development of his pineal gland, he sees differently. The world becomes incandescent and he starts to desire things that are repulsive and he starts to want to suck brains and he starts to think that everything is beautiful even though it's a swelling, seething, foaming, teething creature that overwhelms his world. The horror that we're experiencing is the horror of the everyday that is already and always around us, but most importantly it's the horror that's made magical. So the effervescent colours that we see in this film and the wonder that people experience as they undergo their transformations is actually one of the most intriguing parts. Like all good Lovecraft, the monster is our own becoming and we enter into these unnatural participations with the other and with alternate modes of perception in order to create a new and beautiful world that is just simply too much to describe. <laughs>